dead last last month. He's going up dead last this month. I want y'all to get as loud as you fucking can right now for my homeboy, Dirtbag Ben. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, give it up one more time for Chris Nasco. That was amazing. It's too bad he was born 30 years too late to capitalize on all that androgynous magic he has going on in the face. He could have been in Prince's band wearing a peach blouse, swimming in pussy. Swimming in it. Dirtbag Dan is a stage name, ladies and gentlemen, but it's got my real name in it, Dirtbag Dan. So if you see me outside, you can go, hey, Dan. We'll have a normal conversation. What folks choose to do more often than not is go, hey, dirtbag! <laughs> in very public places. <laughs> Catch me outside and you go, hey, dirtbag! That's cool. We'll take a picture. If I'm shopping for hand towels at Bed Bath & Beyond with my wife, please do not scream, hey, dirtbag! Across the aisle at me. You're gonna think you caught somebody filming upskirts or some shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's be honest, that's a pretty good way to get your ass kicked. Just screaming, hey, dirtbag, at every guy with a beard you see, you know what I mean? One of these days, you're gonna be like, hey, dirtbag! Someone's gonna turn around and you just call me a fucking dirtbag in front of my sister wife and my nephew children. Fuck <laughs> Trump! Fucking Make America Great hat on and shit. Is it crazy to anybody else that a comic book supervillain is running for president successfully in our country right now? I'm just gonna say it, man. Fuck Donald Trump. Yeah, that's right. I hope he gets abducted and probed by aliens. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, I mean, I hope he gets kidnapped and raped by Mexicans. That's what That's what I meant to say. I see how you can get confused. I hope he gets kidnapped and raped by the same Mexicans he wants to build a wall to keep themselves out of the United States. That makes no fucking sense to me whatsoever. You want to keep Mexicans out of the United States, we're going to have to turn this whole country into a veterinary office or some shit like that. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, I'm half Mexican, okay? I'm 35% Mexican. I'm gonna be honest with you, my level of Hispanic uh, depends on location entirely. <laughs> if I'm ordering a burrito in iguanas, I am 93% Mexican, rolling R's and shit, carne asada, carne. If I get pulled over out there on Santa Clara, 2% Mexican. I'm like, no, it's, it's not, it's actually not pronounced Martinez, it's more tennis. So I just, I love the play, what can I say? I love the play. Daniel Moore Tennis, the Connecticut Moore Tennises. No, I'm, I'm, my real name is, is Daniel Alejandro Martinez, Charlie. I, I'm, I'm, I'm half Mexican, uh, just like everybody else in this fucking city. You know, right? I know what you're thinking. You're like, Dan, I'm not half Mexican. Don't worry. Your grandchildren are going to be for sure. Somebody's gonna fuck some Mexican into your family, is what I'm trying to say. Because my grandpa didn't plan for this shit, you know what I mean? You guys like to party or what? That's how you find drugs right there. Just listen for the woos. Good thing the cops don't know that shit. They just be rolling up the parties like, you guys like to party or what? Handcuffs. I like to party. We got whiskey drinkers in the house tonight? It's a brave bunch of individuals. I don't think anything that just turns your penis off at some point should be sold over the counter like that. It's fucking dangerous, you know what I mean? Besides, nothing is sadder than a beautiful girl with a limp dick in her mouth. Oh. Oh. Some of you seen it, some of you felt it. It's like dust covered in motor oil, but there's no amount of shame to wash that off in your body, you know? It's like fucking Holocaust wedding rings melted into Nazi gold. Somewhere in the middle, beautiful girl with a limp bit. Well, I couldn't even say it. It just made me sad. Whiskey dick, cocaine cock. 
No one's ever complained about a stoner boner, ladies and gentlemen. A stoner boner will get the job done and then go have a bowl of cereal afterwards to celebrate a fantastic performance. My name is Dirk Back here, ladies and gentlemen. We got to go All right, y'all, so this is how we're going to do the main event, and only the main event. Main event is purely off crowd applause, all right? So, we're going to go on the order these gentlemen went up, and I want y'all to get as loud as you can for whoever it is you think really should win. Don't sit, don't, no pity claps if you're not voting for that person, okay? Straight up, only for that person. Cool? All right, I talk to y'all like y'all real people, so, all right? <laughs> Step into the light so they can see your face. Fucking handsome. I can't hang out with this motherfucker, man. Pussy levels just dropped and kicking it with this dude. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, if you think Chris Nasco won the main event of the show now, make some noise. Title. It was a really close battle last night. Y'all give it up for both of them one more time. Man.